So first, I would like to ask you for your permission to use this video for educational purpose on Internet. Absolutely. Excellent. Now, tell me, how old are you? I'm 38. I'll 38. be 39 soon. Okay. Now, tell me a little about your symptoms before you and I met. Um, before I started coming to Tri-State, tri I had really bad pain. 1 to 10, how bad? Uh, 8 or 9, down my left leg. And how long have you had that pain? I've had that pain for four years. What did you do in the time before you saw me for that pain for four years? We did physical therapy three times mm -hmm. and I did injections. And obviously your pain didn't get better otherwise you wouldn't have come and seen me. No, okay. my pain did not get better Okay. and it was getting to the point where I after I get home from work, mm -hmm. I couldn't do anything. Excellent. Well, um, it's a good description of a problem that many people have. Now, well, once we met, uh, and we met, I think, about uh, one and a half year ago. Is that about right? Um, yeah, about a year and a half, uh, two years ago. Two years ago. Yep. What did we do first after you and I met? Um... Did we do some more conservative therapy? We did. We And that failed as well? Yes. And we did as well a discogram, correct? I think so. Yeah, I believe so. Okay. Yeah, you know, usually it's a routine to get a long time ago. I know it's hard to remember everything. But then we decided that that disc, the lowest disc in your back is beyond repair. And yeah. we decided to do the surgery. So tell me about the surgery. How did it go? Uh, First of all, it was about a year ago, correct? Yes, yes, just okay. just over a year. Where did we do the surgery? Um, we did uh, surgery at the surgery center at Maple Grove in the Twin Cities. And this was a fusion. Now, fusions are not regularly considered the surgery center case, but because we did the minimally invasive, we decided to do it in a surgery center. Now, tell me about Right after the surgery, uh, how long did it take you to walk and uh, be discharged? I was discharged two hours after my surgery. Okay. I walked out of the surgery center. How bad was the pain then? Uh, I had no pain then. Okay. Now, obviously, right for the few weeks after the surgery, some activity do people have uh, people do have some pain. How was your pain right in the next few weeks after the surgery? With activities. Uh, my pain level was good, um, but with activity, my pain level would increase. Mm -hmm. And as that, expected, yeah, that took two months mm -hmm. for the pain to subside. And two months. How bad is your pain now? I, on a normal day, I don't have any pain. Okay, and none whatsoever. Excellent. And you know, uh, generally, are you back to the level of activity that uh, you like to be? I am. I'm, I'm really close. I'm probably not all the way back. Mm -hmm. We're only a year out. Yes, but, but you know, I want to swing and look at your films. And here we have your films that show actually the bone is growing, as you see here. The white that goes from one bone to another in both areas. As well as uh, I like to go and look at the back of the bone, which we call the posterior fusion. And it seems that as well in the back, the bone growing together properly, meaning that we have what we call posterolateral and, uh, and anterior fusion achieved. And this is the hardware that looks all in the good position. Now, I tell everybody that the pain is a family matter because it's not only you that suffers now. Uh, could you describe, you know, what uh, his uh, pain was before, right after the surgery, and now pain and the level of activity, what you observed? Uh, before the surgery, um, he had to prioritize his activities daily. Um, after Monday through Friday, it was work, and on weekends, didn't really do much. Um, he had the surgery. Uh, two months, he was laid up. Um, out of work, uh, then he was back to work, um, regular, full-time, um, then, yeah, it, 
pain was really good. It was awesome to see. Yeah. So, so from what I hear is that, you know, before the surgery, it was uh, practically work and uh, just recovering from work in the weekend. Now, not much of other family activities. No, not he, much. He could do maybe one family activity on mm -hmm. the weekend, and then that was it. Um, no, is he useful to family now? Oh, very. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> excellent. Some snow and <laughs> excellent. So overall, what was your experience with the you know surgery and after the surgery? Would you go through that again? Uh, I was asked this the other day. Yeah, who that? Who asked you that? My my mother-in-law okay. asked me, okay. and well, I would absolutely if yeah. if I had that level of pain. Yeah. Uh, I would absolutely do it again. So would you wait this time four years to go through that? No. <laughs> okay. There's no reason. There's no reason to wait this long. You can get. You can get help. You can get help even Excellent. if it's and be normal, a normal person so, again. Excellent. Well, that that's the biggest thing for me mm -hmm. is I'm myself again. Excellent. Because Excellent. when you're in pain, you're not. Well, now you're an uh, internet star. Thank <laughs> you for the interview.